Eric McCormick does a turn as a director. It was really nice to not have to be worried about lines or how I look, but rather just focus on everybody else, focus on the shots, tell the story. When I found out Eric McCormick was going to be directing my episode, I was like, an embarrassment of riches. We had such a great, great time. I consider him a dear friend. He's just such a wonderful guy. I love detectives. We are passing through on our way to do missionary work. I really enjoy getting the opportunity to see a fish out of water with Julia and William dressed as Mennonites. Perfect. Except, Except for, for the beard. beard. Yes. We catch up with Watts once again. He was supposed to turn around and say, Guten Morgen. I got edited out, so I was a little disappointed. <laughs> but it still works. It still works because he gets the reveal. We have to sort of convince him to play ball and help us solve a mystery of a young woman who's disappeared. I'm not a detective anymore. You still know right from wrong. I do. And I know the people here are good people. Watts has always been interested in, in different communities and, and trying to find his own communities. Communities who might be part of a rebirth for him and then don't end up being quite right for him. The people here, will they love me if I live my life differently from how they live theirs? You've got somebody who's been incarcerated and decides to find a way back to religion. Bobby Bracken Reed and his decision to become a Catholic. That sort of puts some of our characters into different positions. It hasn't gone down too well with me because I'm anti-Catholic. I've entered the Catholic Church. Absolutely not! Faith is faith, love is love. I'm really happy I play a character who believes that as well. What does it matter? Truly, he has faith. Catch up on the latest season of Murdoch Mysteries on Ovation Now.